Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so uh, this is going to be Cancer, Sun, Moon, and as well uh, Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot readings in terms of love and career uh, for the upcoming week. And as they are general readings indeed, what they're going to show is the collective uh, energy and uh, potential that Cancer can unfold. But if you do feel that doing different things is better by all means do whatever you feel uh is best for you that is so uh the first card that we're gonna have for your uh law of life cancer is going to be the seven of uh, wands moving next we do have the ace of pentacles uh followed by uh, the hermits uh moving next we do have the ace of wands and that is very strange reading i give you that uh, that is because we do have the ace of pentacles here into the second position and then the hermit into the third one and now what they are uh, what those cards are pretty much implying into it is that uh, your your intuition or your feeling okay your um your anticipation is correct whatever you do plan to do in terms of love that is what you gotta do. That, that is your light at the end of the tunnel. That is your light that shines for you there uh, in the darkness here. Uh, unfortunately, um, just in, from a general perspective here, because we do have the Ace of Pentacles into the second position and the Hermit into the third one, they do speak more to severance rather than into a conciliation, okay? Especially if we're talking about reconciliation. Uh, however, as we do have the Seven of Wands into the first one, that card pretty much speaks that there is a, 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 a right moment and as well a right place for everything. That being said, whatever you plan to do throughout, uh, throughout the week, either expressing your emotions or either uh, making your severance with uh, your abusive relationship or whatever that is, okay? Uh, you will have the chance to do it most pain painless and most uh, beneficial for you and for that reason you need to be ready to jump into action whenever that's um, that opportunity unravels for you uh the ace of pentacles into the second position pretty much speaks about uh lack of uh, of synergy if you will and speaks about lack of of dynamic as well and that uh, the week itself uh, is gonna it's not going to be happy at all, okay? That That's about all that there is to it. There won't be any content that you are to find in for whatever is happening. And for that reason, you are going to start anticipating different stuff. Now, now that I think of that may not concern uh, uh, kind of like severance, it may concern changing the circumstances within the relationship. Should that be brought to bear? And is it going to be possible? Well, that depends on your uh, specific personal situation okay for some it's going to be possible for other isn't but whatever you do anticipate it will be the right way for you uh for you to move forward another thing with the seven of wands here is that this week itself is going to be by definition a test for your status love status relationship status that will be the test from inwardly where you are going to test yourself do you have what it takes 
to keep on moving or to do what you uh, find necessary and also outwardly test. Uh, unfortunately, that may be the appearance of a third party that is flirting with you or flirting, flirting I'm sorry, with, uh, with your uh, current partner. It could be uh, in the most drastic cases, it could be an affair that it is going on, it could be your affair, it could be their affair as well. And that's, uh, uh, that test needs to be addressed straight away. And pretty much I do believe that this is gonna be your opportunity to do whatever your anticipation is in term of, uh, in term of your love life. Regardless of that, uh, by the end of the week, uh, Cancer, you're going to end up in a position where you're going to have a very gainingful enterprise in front of you. That gainingful enterprise could be your newly reborn relationship, your newly reborn interaction, or if you have made your severance, it could be a, um, a potential for a new relationship. Now, I'm not saying that this new relationship will happen at the end of the week. This is just a potential. Meeting somebody that is very nice, you know, and it pretty much kind of attracts you and from there you start an interaction and that is your gaining for enterprise that you can develop for the ace of one stands for the spark of inspiration okay you get expired inspired by it and from there how it's going to unfold well that depends again entirely on you now thing one thing it's um, important here to be acknowledged it is that Ace of Wands is characterized by a new experiences as well, things that you are not used to tackle with, uh, for example, conversations that you are not used to lead, for example, um, situations that you are not used to be in, okay, and you need to learn on a go, but um, should you just, you know, embrace it, uh, you're going to get the hang of it very very quickly regardless of this is going to be once again your newly newly um i'm sorry regardless if this is going to be your newly reborn uh relationship marriage or whatever or, or situation or uh you made your severance and uh, now you have a a new interest so uh that was your uh law of tarot reading now let me shuffle the cards and see what your uh career has in store for you Right, so the first card in term of career is going to be the three of uh, cups. Moving next, we do have the four of wands, uh, followed by uh, the uh, high priestess. That's pretty strong here that we do have. Wow, and the last one is going to be the sun. So four of wands, what that thing could be there, eh? Because it doesn't fit very well with the narrative, I, I will tell you that. So um, the week um, is going to be a week where you are going to produce results. It's just there is no other way seeing it here with that tree of, uh, tree of Cups. As a prime card, Tree of Cups sits as the very early results. Uh, the very early results of your efforts. Okay, uh, Say you did something in the last week that you are expecting to uh, unfold and you are expecting to go on forward, well, it's going to go forward. But that is just the uh, material representation of the Tree of Cups in terms of career, you know. So that being said, you need to know, all that you need to know here by that card is that your week is going to be very productive, where uh, you are simply not going to waste your time and not going to waste your efforts when it comes to undertaking tasks. Another thing with the Tree of Cups is that the way you see your work your colleagues and your um, your supervisors are going to see it that way. So there won't be any, how can I say, points of conflict. There won't be any um, uh, arguments in between you and these people. But just on the contrary, everybody will work with the same pace and everybody will help everybody. Okay, uh, And uh, that being said, you are just going to become more emotionally attached to the people that you are working with. 
Uh, if you are running your own business alone, that speaks for, for in between you and your client. You do uh, make a proposal or you do make a partial work on a project and your client will see your vision exactly as their vision. And there you go, you do have the emotional connection in between you, your client and the project as well. Uh, the high priestess here into the third position is just a reassurance that you are there to stay, okay? And uh, should you not decide to quit that endeavor, uh, that endeavor is yours up until it, it ends, okay? Up until it's finalized, it's finished, it's, uh, it's marked by a triumph. Um, the four of wands. I mean, the High Priestess was that testament, okay? So the Four of Wands into the second position, um, uh, to me, the only thing that this, can't, this card stands for here in this reading, it is that you may be misled of uh, how fast this, uh, this enterprise, that job, can be, uh, can be um, uh, finalized, okay? Or, or yeah, it, it can be done, okay? So it's gonna take longer, than, uh, than, than your anticipation to get the job done, to finish the project, to accomplish the, uh, the promise, and etc. etc. Uh, that being said, this could lead to some, um, to some aggravation from your behalf because you may anticipate one result, and while there is going to be results, your week is going to be rather productive in terms of career, the results that you do have in mind are not going to match the results that are in reality produced. And that may annoy you a little bit, but just so you know, um, regardless how do you uh, find yourself by the end of the week, um, success is imminent should you keep on moving with the same performance as you are establishing throughout the week itself. For we do have uh, the sun at the end and the sun at the end is, uh, is telling us two things, actually three things. Uh, the first thing that it tells us it is that whatever you are doing, whatever you are developing, you know, whatever project you are working on or whatever job you are trying to, uh, to get, uh, it's going to give you growth and it's going to give you an expanding growth for that fact. It's going to be lucrative, that is the second thing that it tells us, and as well, it's your natural progression, that is the third thing that it tells us. So that's definitely something you should do, okay? And you should not abandon it, even if the expectations right now does not match the results by a short margin, okay? So yeah, that being said, this was your uh, career tarot reading um, cancer for the uh, upcoming week. It's a rather good one, so don't slug guys, but rather uh, jump into cooperation. That is, uh, that should be your game there. That should be your virtue. Getting along with people, getting along with your clients, getting along with your uh, co-workers and working together for you will be able to unite them under your vision and everybody will help you to become simply better, more lucrative, more renowned uh, and more recognized as well. Uh, so yeah, that, that was your tarot readings. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.